Um, I call it the movie mode because it's, for some reason, it's used a lot in movie soundtracks. I notice it a lot, especially when somebody's flying through the air like Superman. They use the Lydian mode to express that. I don't know why, but I'm just kind of used to hearing it in movies now, so that's kind of how I remember it, actually. Uh, so, you know, again, put that on tape and play the Lydian mode over it. One thing that really defines the Lydian mode is that there's a tritone. Over the B chord, we have an F note in there, which is really kind of weird, but if you play the B and play the F in a higher octave, you get like a really cool kind of effect. That's one thing that really defines the tonality of a Lydian mode. It kind of sounds a little weird just playing it over one note like this, but I think if you experiment with it and play it in some of your chord progressions, you'll find it's a, a real interesting mode. It's one of my very favorite ones. Okay, so our next thing we're going to do is build a mixolydian mode, a B mixolydian, because mixolydian is the next in line. So we know that mixolydian is a major chord, so it's going to be B major. And we also know that the lydian, I mean, the mixolydian mode is the fifth step of a major scale, or we know that Aeolian follows Mixolydian. So if somebody said, hey, Vin, let's jam and be Mixolydian, how I, know, how I would know where I was at is I would relate it to the Aeolian mode, which is right after it. So I would quite simply look at the neck, play the B chord, move it up a whole step to the Aeolian mode, which is a C-sharp minor chord. So I would know that I was basically in the key of C-sharp minor or... Uh, E major would be the relative major, and I'd just be starting from the B note. So put, again, put that on tape and play the C sharp minor scale starting with B, and you'll get the mixolydian tonality. So there you have your mixolydian sound. It reminds me of like a happy summertime type of feel. And please ignore those couple wrong notes I played in there. I think you got a good idea of what it sounds like from the uh, majority of them, which were right, I hope. But anyway, that reminds me of a summertime feel. And there's a couple examples I played for you in there. Norwegian Wood and uh, also Freeway Jam by Jeff Beck. So again, I told you to try to visualize something to re mind you of the mode you can even you know remember songs and you know the norwegian wood is a really strong type of tonality you can remember that very easily so if you have trouble remembering mixolydian you can think of that and it'll give you a feel for what it's all about okay so our next mode is aeolian we're going to build b aeolian um, as we said before aeolian is always the root of a minor scale so if we're playing b aeolian we're very simply in the key of b minor and the relative major is d so let's put that on tape and play the scale over it and then improvise with it a little bit. Alright, so there's B Aeolian, that's one of the most common modes, uh, Aeolian and Ionian, because they're just basic major and minor scales. Uh, everybody's pretty familiar with that tonality already, I assume, and to me that reminds me of like a more sad type of feel. Okay, so our last and final mode is going to be the weird one, Locrian, and so the chord is going to be a B 
half diminished and put that on tape and play the scale over top of it and then improvise with it a little bit. Here's what a B Locrian sounds like. I told you it was pretty weird. And by the way, how we find out what we're key we're in right there is I would relate it to the Aeolian mode, which is right before it, so I would know if we were playing B Locrian that we were in the key of A minor, or also the major scale is right next to it too, the Ionian. So we could say it's either the seventh step from a major scale or it's the second step from a minor, but it'd be easier just to compare it to the minor scale and know which is right next to it and play in A minor and uh, just start from the B note over the B chord. Uh, to me, that's the most difficult lick to play over. It's a little too weird for me. I, I'm not real comfortable with it, but the best way to do it, or you know, what I normally do, is just to play a bunch of diminished triads over top of it. That type of thing, and that usually works. Okay, so that pretty much completes the mode section here. Um, we did two things. I showed you a C major scale and how I, we named all the modes and showed you the intervals and how we were basically still in the key of C major. We didn't step outside. And then we built every mode over a B note and by that you could hear, really hear the difference in the tonality of all the modes. So I recommend like putting these on tape like I showed you and practicing them a lot and really getting familiar with the sound of each mode. You, know, you can take each mode and spend a day with it, experimenting with it and you know, this just opens up new doors and there's new things to work with. You know, who wants to play in Aeolian or Ionian all the time? That gets boring. You know, the more tonalities you know, the more you can express in your songwriting and also your soloing. So I think modes are something that are very important and they get overlooked a lot. You know, people don't want to learn them and I think basically it's because the way they're taught is so confusing. And there's no reason they have to be confusing. A mode is just a different step of a major scale. So try to work with these and get them down and come up with a lot of cool ideas and you'll find that they'll really open up a whole new dimension for you.